I'm here today with the wonderful English teacher, Mrs. Fitzpatrick. How are you doing? I'm very well. It's That's almost good. fall break. That's I'm fun. Really fall excited. break is good. I'm so excited. Okay, me too. What is what what college did you go to? Well, believe it or not, I went to UCLA. Go Bruins. Ah. Uh, can't agree with you at USC. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, sorry. You should have told me that. Same, same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was your major? I also, believe it or not, majored in English. Makes, so makes I've sense. been reading and writing for a long, long time. That's fun. Uh, at 13 years old, what career did you want? I have always wanted to be a teacher. When I first went to school in kindergarten, I used to come home and set up a chalkboard and make my younger brother and sister and all of my stuffed animals listen to me teach them. Oh wow, yes. that's that's commitment. <laughs> it hasn't changed. Yeah, what's the best book you've ever read? Well, I'm glad you asked, Miranda. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. You can edit that out. This is a book that all of you out there should read. This is called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. It is available in our school library, and it is a wonderful book. It's about a boy named Arnold who has some differences that he is made fun of. He has a best friend who defends him and beats up other kids for him because he loves him so much. And the really unique thing about Arnold is he lives on a Native American reservation. So if you know nothing about life on a Native American reservation, you should read this book. It's so good. It's full of funny pictures. It's hilarious. It has really great life lessons and themes. You will all love it. This is the best book ever. There you go. I'll, I'm gonna read it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Check it out. Uh, what's your favorite hobby or favorite thing to do? Well, I do truly and really love to read. All my students know this. I spend a lot of time reading, but I also have two little boys, three, Nolan and Emmett, three and a half and one. And, yeah, I spend a lot of time just watching them run around and be crazy and make me laugh. That's fun. I love kids. That's pretty much all I do right now. That's a good life. I love to read too. Yeah. So. Uh, what's an interesting fact about you or experience that most people don't know? Well, I, my students don't even know this about me. I actually have been skydiving before. Wow. I am not generally an adventurous person. I don't do things like that. But when I was 22, my husband, but he was my boyfriend at the time, talked me into jumping out of an airplane with a parachute strapped on my back. That's brave. It That's was brave. terrifying. Brave. I'm glad I did it, but I would mm -hmm. never do it again. Nope. Never? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, I could never do that either. If you had one piece of advice you could give your students, what would it be? So I would say to my students and all the students out there that make sure you find balance in your life. Um, do well in school, spend time with your friends, spend time with your families, play sports, have hobbies, but try not to let one of those things take up all your time and become the end all be all to your happiness. Spread it out and find balance in all of the things that you do. That's great advice. I like that. Uh, thanks for thanks for letting us do this interview with you today. Um, and stay tuned next week for another interview. Thanks. Bye bye. Woo!